in our study, we looked at the um, employment and educational participation of young adults with autism and other types of disabilities in the first few years after leaving high school. What we found was that about 35% of the young adults with autism had no connection whatsoever with any kind of post-secondary opportunities, including two-year college, four-year college, vocational training, or any kind of paid employment. They were just not involved in anything. There was a much higher rate than young people from other kinds, with other kinds of disabilities. The rate of disconnection from post-secondary employment and educational opportunities was much higher for young adults with autism who came from lower income families. With this study, we're not exactly sure why these rates are so high for the young people with autism. Um, we're currently doing some follow-up research to examine different hypotheses about why folks might be failing to connect with opportunities leaving high school. There are a few different things we're looking at. Number one, we're looking at the kinds of opportunities that people are exposed to during their high school years. We do stuff with young people in special education all the time, different kinds of interventions and so forth. We're actually able with our study to test the effect of many of the interventions that we do during high school that we hope create better outcomes after high school. What's important to realize is that the majority of a typical lifespan is spent in adulthood. And yet the vast majority of research to date on autism services and development among people with autism is focused on very young childhood. We know very little about how life unfolds and what life looks like for adults with autism. So another important aspect of this study is it's really breaking new ground in terms of telling the story of what life looks like as people enter adulthood. We chose to focus purposely on young adulthood in the first few years after high school because that's the beginning of adulthood. It really sets the stage. If young people have a good launch during those first few years after high school, it sets them on a path that can spell success for many years to come. If they have a troubled launch in the first few years after high school, that can spell trouble for years to come.